Let's talk about some of the biggest stories in space today. Now, the first one is an older story, but it's popping up again, so I wanted to tell you about it. This unfortunate little amphibian was launched straight into the air and very likely did not make it. It is very sad, and it is quite a way to go. This is not the first time an intrepid little animal has found their way onto a spacecraft. In 2009, a bat took a ride on the fuel tank of Discovery. They had assumed that he would leave, or that the sounds would cause him to fly off, but that didn't happen. NASA watched the rocket go up until the little guy was no longer visible. This of course happened in 2009, so the memes were wild. We will never forget you. This incident actually sparked policy change. Workers are now required to clear any animals that they may find in the vicinity, and they also honk a very loud horn in hopes of scaring them off. You should do the same thing for your car in the winter. Unfortunately, spaceports are often in rural areas. The one in Virginia is near a wildlife sanctuary, so we can expect incidents like this to happen again. The second moon that Earth captured is unfortunately going to be leaving by Thanksgiving. This rock found our way into Earth's orbit and likely came from our own moon. Preliminary analyses have found it to be the same density as our moon, and it is 11 meters across, or if you're American, approximately two giraffes, which is 39 feet. It was likely formed roughly 4 billion years ago when our own moon formed. It took a spin around the galaxy and found its way home, off to travel again. New information has been released about the potentially catastrophic leak on the ISS. They did confirm it's the same leak that they've known about since 2019, but it's been getting progressively worse. Remember, the ISS is a tin can in a vacuum. The plan is to decompress that portion, which is the entire Russian module. A controlled decompression would keep it from rapidly decompressing and sending the entire space station spinning into oblivion. Unfortunately, the Russians and the Americans cannot seem to agree on at which point it needs to be decompressed, so the plan is just to sit and wait. Remember, we do still have two stranded astronauts who are supposed to be up there for a week and are not going to be back till at least February of 2025. I'll be keeping an eye on that. In other insane news, a paper was published stating that the fast-moving stars in our galaxy may be piloted by aliens. We have observed stars moving in directions and speeds that are not probable. It has been proposed that perhaps it is an alien civilization who has decided to move through the galaxy and are piloting that star in order to do so. This would make some sense, as it would allow the entire society to move at the same time. No. Aliens are not piloting stars, but if you want to read the most wild paper that I have ever read, give it a shot. It's also not yet peer-reviewed, although I have my doubts it'll ever pass the peer-review process. What do you want covered next?